this video is just to go over some of the uh, extra things uh, in this map. The first one is down here, just below the spawn, is a set of levers uh, called Sadness Solvers. They're just levers, uh, and what you do is you place them on the top of the door like that, and you open it. Now this is so you can skip through any encounter that you're having trouble with. Now uh, there's only five in here. That's not a lot, uh, considering there's 84 encounters. Uh, and there's a couple more later on, you get access to a few more. Uh, so you can use those to skip through uh, any problem encounters you're having problems with. Uh, if you happen to run into a bug or get yourself trapped or, or something like that, you can use it for that purpose. Um, maybe parkour because a lot of people don't like parkour. Uh, so if you're having any problems with that, you can use the lever and you can get right through uh, and that will solve your sadness uh, without cheating. So that's why those are there. The next thing are these buttons that are missing. Uh, the way you get those buttons back is by completing pathways. Once you've done two pathways, uh, gravel in the completion cave will fall and what happens then is at, you get access to these buttons. So I think after six pathways or five, uh, you get access to all of the buttons. So you can still fairly early on uh, get access to all of these. Uh, it's just a little extra. So once you beat a couple of pathways, sand falls down like this. And then you just go over here and get the buttons. And then you can put those on the um, on these right here. Last but not least, we have this handy dandy item dispenser, uh, which you press the button and you get a random selection of either cookies, melons, and experience. Uh, each time you finish a pathway, you get to press the button once. It won't work again after you press it once. But if you leave and then the next time you come back, it will start working again. So there's that as well. And that's pretty much it.